Hello, 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 everybody. This is Melissa Hartman, but you can also call me hashtag Boss Mish. Guys, I am coming live to you tonight with lots of good information, so you're going to want to stay tuned for this. I need to flip my camera around because I'm going to be showing you something, so let's do that real quick. And if you are tuning in live, do me a favor and drop me the number one below. If you are checking out this replay, feel free to drop me um, the number two. And if you are new to this broadcast, welcome. Thanks for being here. Drop me the word new in the comments. Tell me where you guys are coming in from. Hey, Laura. Hey, Dean. How you guys doing? It's so weird. I'm actually like the right side. So you can read my shirt. Look at that. I'm the pizza queen. Hey, Margie. Um, so I've been getting a ton of questions from you guys and I absolutely love this. Um, however, I thought I'd make all of your lives a little bit easier and go live to talk about this. Um, so we always have a point of reference and I can tag you in the video if you're new to this way of life. So we are going to talk all things keto tonight. You made what, Laura? I missed it. Hey Rachel, hey John. Uh, so we're gonna talk about macros a little bit tonight because I know some of you hear that word and this was me in the past too. Some of you heard this word and you were like, skirt, I gotta get out of here, I'm running away. Like this is terrifying, right? So uh, we're gonna try and make that be uh, the le like at least the least amount of confusion as possible, okay? So um, I get a lot of people who ask me, well, who should be tracking their macros? If you are on the keto way of life and you want to lose weight, then it's for you. If you, it's for anybody, okay? Basically, if you want to know what you're eating every single day, I think it's really important. Uh, so you're probably going to want to share this video. So feel free to push that share button in the lower left hand corner. Comment the word shared in the comments. If I see it while I'm doing this, I'll make sure to give you a full name shout out, but this is an important one. So let's get into it, shall we? Shall we? Let's do it. Melissa, you're in Oregon? Why are you, what? Is this like the Oregon Trail up in here? Okay, anyway. Uh, so macros uh, is a short term word, or a, short, a shortened word uh, for macronutrients, okay? So there's essentially just a few parts to it. Uh, it's going to be your proteins, it's going to be your carbs, it's going to be your calories, and it's going to be your fat for the day, okay? So all of our foods, co uh, com you know, make the, gosh, I cannot talk tonight. All of our foods make this stuff up, okay? So um, in a keto diet, you typically are going to want to eat high fat, low carb and moderate protein, okay? For those of you guys who have heard of like the Atkins diet in the past, it was low carb, high protein, high fat, okay? So that's where this di diet or lifestyle is a little bit different. John uh, Vagianos, thank you so much for sharing. Um, and so let's talk about the keto way of living a little bit here because this is what I'm on, this is what's helped me lose like almost 60 pounds now, so let's get into this, okay? Now, when it comes to fats, uh, things like uh, coconut oil, avocado, bacon, butter, all of these yummy, delicious fats, right? Uh, I know my favorite is like a Philadelphia cream cheese, if that's you too, drop me a three in the comments below. April Wilson, thank you so much for sharing. And um, that's some of your fats, okay? Proteins, I think you guys understand the concept of proteins. I would hope so. Drop me like a little chicken below, okay? Uh, and carbs in a, in a keto diet, you typically want to stay under, I say you wanna stay under 20 grams a day, okay? Now I know a lot of people kind of argue with like the net carbs and total carbs. I'm going to be honest with you, I think if you really want to like buckle down and do the keto diet full on, full through, uh, go ahead and just do 20 total carbs. That way you're not confusing yourself. Uh, you're not giving you, you know, too much room to play with. I mean, some of you guys eat your vegetables though too, so that's totally your call. I don't want to make this more confusing than it needs to be, okay? And then the last thing is your calories, um, which I, you guys all know what a calorie is, okay? Um, now, 
I personally don't measure foods. I don't know how many of you, if you've seen one of my keto kitchens before, where's my hand? Uh, drop me a five below. You've seen that I don't really measure my food. I just kind of do a little dump here, a little dump here. Um, but when you're measuring your foods, if you want to, you can get a scale, you can use your little measuring cups. I base it off of things like my hands, which may not be the best way to do it, but whatever. We're, I'm going to give you little examples that may help you in the future, okay? So I wrote these down. Two tablespoons of something is going to look like a ping pong ball. Now, I'm in Wisconsin, so I don't know about you guys, but like beer pong is a real, like family tradition, okay, in Wisconsin. So everybody knows what a ping pong ball looks like, okay? So that's about two tablespoons. One tablespoon is like an ice cube or a, or like your thumb, okay, like your whole thumb. Now, if you're a dude with massive hands, this may need to be adjusted. Grab your wife or your girlfriend's thumb and that'll be more like a tablespoon. A teaspoon is half of the normal spoon that you eat off of, okay, so just half of that, um, or just think of like a think of like a quarter, okay, and then a cup is like the size of a baseball or your fist. A half a cup is like a tennis ball or even like a light bulb. I don't know. I found that, that off the internet because I'm like, I don't know. A half a cup, I always just dump in there. And then a quarter cup is the size of an egg, okay. Now a lot of people ask, well, why are you doing this, right? Like. Why do you do this lifestyle? And honestly, like I just wanted to feel better. I wanted to look better. I wanted to get leaner, right? And I feel like you need to know why you are doing this because I can be there for accountability as much as I can. Like I know you guys blow up my inbox sometimes and I love that. Uh, however, if you don't understand why you're doing it for yourself, you're not going to succeed, okay? Because your faith needs to be bigger than whatever that reasoning is in your head that you're saying you can't do it, okay? So I don't care if you need me to tell you like, twice a day, you know, in your messenger, like, hey girl, how you doing today? You are going to rock it. You feel excellent. Like whatever it is you got to do, just do it. Okay. Tell yourself you're going to get through this. You are doing this because you have kids. You're doing this because you weigh a hundred pounds overweight. You're doing this because you have type two diabetes. I don't know what your reasoning is. Actually, you know what? Do me a favor, guys. I'd love to hear your reasoning on why you chose the keto lifestyle. Drop that in the comments if you'd love to share that because I think that would be really cool. And who knows? You might find somebody on here who has the same exact reason that you're doing this. Maybe you're just being selfish and you're like, I just want to look sexy AF at the beach this summer. That's okay, too. Like, I need to connect with you because I'm not going to lie. I want to look good in a two-piece this summer. Okay? Okay, moving right along. Okay? So, so now let's get into the actual uh, macronutrients. Um, I'm going to show you guys my fitness pal, which is why I decided to actually bring up my fitness pal. Like I, I created a fake account. Shh, don't tell them that. I'm just kidding. I put my husband's information in, but I'm not supposed to tell anyone that. <laughs> uh, and I decided it'd be easier to show you guys uh, live this information because I know sometimes technology is just awful. If you are terrible at technology, you can drop me a six below. I was too. I, I, you learn these things as you go, okay? Um, but typically in a keto diet, most people fall between like 65 and 70%. I usually say 70% for your fats for the day. And then you go, you're going to do like 20 to 25% of proteins and then 5 to 10% of carbs. Now, I always say 70, 25, 5, okay? Uh, that should all add up to 100. <laughs> and uh, that's what I say because I always say be a little more drastic because then even if you go over your carbs like 7%, you don't feel so bad because then you're like, oh yeah, Melissa told me like 5 to 10%. We're okay, right? Um, now, when you are switching over to the keto diet, remember that you are switching fuel sources. So you're going from burning carbohydrates, which turns into glycogen, uh, into a fat burning state, okay? So that's why you need so much fat in your diet. You're replacing those carbs with fat. So let me grab my fitness pal. I hope this shows up on the screen. If you're excited to see this live, drop me a seven below. 
I'm really excited. Feel free to share this so your friends know how to do it too. I'm going to take this out of my protector. So if I drop it on the ground now, we're all doomed, okay? Yeah, I'm doing math on a live. Like, what is happening here? <laughs> and guys, if you're not already following me on Facebook, make sure you push that follow button later on after this live. That way um, you can always see keto stuff, okay? All right, so here's my iPad. We're going to get a little bit of a glare, but you guys will... Backwards, okay. You guys will get it. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to push on the app, my fitness pal. This dude pops up. Under Armour sponsors it, which I dig because I kind of like Under Armour. Okay. Now we're on the internet, so hopefully the, this iPad is like, I think, a first generation iPad. <laughs> okay. So as you can see, this is your main screen, okay? Now I just put in, I put in like a weight, I put in a daily goal of one pound, or a weekly goal, one pound a week. On the bottom here, you have different tabs, okay? So in the beginning, you are gonna go to the more tab, which is like three little dots, and you, oh gosh, I wish there was a good way to do this. Let me see if I push on that. Mm -hmm. Oh, whatever. You, you see the screen. You get a list of things. So it says uh, explore premium, which you don't want to do because you don't actually want to pay for this unless you do. Uh, shop fitness gear, my profile. So goals you can click on. This is going to be like your starting weight, your current weight, your goal weight, your weekly your weekly goal, and then your activity level. So in here I have a person who weighs... 259 pounds and their goal weight is 225 pounds. I'm trying to like keep this straight and I just can't. Okay, there we go. Uh, and then they want to lose one pound a week and they're not very active. Okay, so this is that screen. Let me see. Can you see it? Can you see it? Yeah, good enough. Okay, so then uh, you have your calorie under under this part right here in the middle of the screen. You have something that says calorie and macronutrient goals. Now, this is where you want to be. This is where the money is. Drop me a money symbol in the comments below. Now, the goals it says to lose one pound a week is 2220 for calories for this person, okay? Um, so that person will want to eat around that amount. Now, this has it in here as 50% for carbs, which is awful, 20% uh, for protein, and 30% for fat. So we're going to change that. So all you got to do is click on carbs, and it's going to pull up with this little thing here. Okay, this little thing. I wonder if I turn this off. I'm going to turn off my Diva Light and see what happens. Oh, you can see it. Okay, cool. We'll turn it back on when we need to. All right, so you need to change carbs to 5%. So you're going to change carbs to 5%. It tells you exactly how much that is. That's 28 grams for a person who's 259 pounds. Then for protein, you're going to change that to 25%. Like I said, that shows up. You want 100, this person wants 139 grams of protein in a day. And then you want to up your fat to 70%, do you all see that? And it shows you that, 173 grams of fat, how cool. So then you hit this checkbox up in the top right hand corner, it adjusts that for you. So now you can see 28 grams, carbs, proteins, fat, uh, you're looking at the percentages, okay? So five, 25, and 70%. And then you can go back, so get out of there, and then if you go back to the main screen, which is home, okay, this is where you can start entering in your food. So at the bottom, it'll pop up. Whoa, that's kind of funny looking right there. Uh, you can enter in your water, food, exercise, weight, all that stuff. All I really care that you do is enter in your food because I think that's what's so awesome about this app. It wants to use my location. Like, come on, man, you don't need to know where I am right now. So let's pretend that I don't even know what I picked, but you can choose breakfast, lunch, and dinner, uh, avocado, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, so you can pick in here. Okay, yes, here is one avocado, 
One medium avocado is considered one serving for this person. It's 234 calories. You can see up here, this red is the fat, uh, blue is the carbs, and green is the protein. So 12 grams of, what is that? 12 grams of carbs, 70, uh, 21 grams of fat, and 2.9 grams of protein. So let's say this person ate this. Just as an example, you can log that. So we'll say this person had that for breakfast. Now, obviously, it's going to be a little bit different. This is my fitness pal. Uh, you can download it from your app, from your app store or whatever. I don't know. Okay, now here's what's really cool about this, guys. At the bottom again, you have nutrition, okay? You click on that. Why didn't it show me? Wait, just kidding. That's not it. Don't, don't listen to that. Uh, go back to this more screen and go to son of a gun. Why did it not work? Huh. <laughs> nutrition. Okay, let's pretend that I need to enter something else because maybe I did something wrong. We'll enter in quick add. No, that's not what I want to do. I just want to add food. Food diary. Okay, add food. Let's add in an egg. One large egg. Tracked it. Okay, now let's see if that works. Now it shows at the top. Uh, it is the free app, Jessica. You can pay for one, but that's kind of silly in my eyes. Uh, so it shows at the top, like 1914 is this person's remaining. Uh, it shows uh, it shows the total goal, all that. So it should just be nutrition. So normally you would see, I don't know why this one isn't updating. Maybe I'm putting it in for a wrong day. Or maybe it's because this is old. But normally what will happen is this, this circle will show me, oh, I know why, because it's not in the right thing. Macros. Ha! Look, we're learning together. Okay, so at the top it has calories. Uh, I guess you got to pay attention to what you're doing. Calories, nutrients. We want macros. We don't care about all that other stuff. So here you can see your pretty pie chart. Uh... <laughs> Thanks, Becky. Um, and you can see here, okay, so 73% fat. You can see here, it says uh, the total is this so far. Your goal is this. So you can adjust it. So if you notice one day you have more than something or not enough, then that's how you can adjust it, okay? And I think it's really important in the beginning to track just because that way you get an idea whether or not... Uh, whether or not you're doing all of the right things. So if you guys thought that was cool, whew, do me a favor and drop me an eight in the comments. Um, other than that, I think my fitness pal is very self-explanatory. You can like post statuses and stuff on there, but it's really great to help you track your macros. And um, it's really just trial and error in the beginning, guys. Like you're gonna think, oh my gosh, how do I eat this much stuff, right? And some of you guys tell me you're super hungry. Some of you tell me you're not ever hungry. So I think it's really important just to find that balance. Uh, feel free to look online to find out uh, what is high in fat. I listed some of them earlier, obviously. But if you have any questions, you can always reach out. Other than that, I think that about does it. I wanted to keep this fairly short and sweet so we can always use this as a reference. Uh, if you guys got some value, feel free to drop me a 10 and share this video. I'll give you a full name shout out here. Uh, we are going to do a new keto kitchen tomorrow, I think. We are doing old school wiener wraps, but with fathead dough. So if you guys have ever made that before, Feel free to drop me, like, I don't know, I'd say drop me, drop me the word hot dog below uh, because we love hot dogs as gross as they are, but they're Nathan's hot dogs, so they're the good ones. Uh, and I'm super excited. I've never made them before, so we're going to see if they're like a hit or 
a flop. We never know these things. Uh, but I hope you guys got some value. I will look forward to talking to you soon. My name is Melissa Hartman. You can also call me hashtag boss Talk to you guys later. Bye.